Tony Ferguson has started training at the wild card gym with Freddie Roach. And I'll tell you, I mean, more times than not, when an established athlete changes coaches, it doesn't go well. It just doesn't go well. I love this news. In this case, I loved this news because one thing that Tony hasn't been doing, and this is according to Tony, is having a coach. He's made a big deal about that along the way. I've heard him at multiple press conferences say, hey, I don't have a coach. I train myself. I am in charge of my own camps. And Tony is so self-disciplined and works so damn hard, it took him as far as it took him. But, and there is a but, everybody needs a coach. All the greats have a, Tiger has a coach. LeBron has a coach. Mayweather has a coach. Serena has a coach. Simone Biles has a coach. Jordan's got a coach. I mean, everybody has a coach. So I was very happy to see that Tony did do that. Not to mention, I know he's working his ass off. Now, hard work has never been something that's difficult for Tony Ferguson. That's just part of the deal. It's just the way he lives his life. It's just his habits and what he's used to doing. But I know how hard they work over at the wild card. And Tony's going in there, and Tony does not appear to me to be a guy who needs to work on his boxing. I don't remember a time that I've seen Tony get outboxed over the course of a night, but Tony is one of those guys who does get hit a lot. It takes him a minute to start seeing things and start slipping. So if that's one of the things he's working on with Freddie, just by example, but if he is working on some of that head movement, maybe absorbing a little bit less damage, that sounds great. I know he's working hard. I know he's moving his feet. I know he's throwing punches and bunches. I, I just know those things. I, and car, Tony, who doesn't really have cardio issues, but that's something you still have to observe. The guy that never has cardio issues doesn't have cardio issues because he works on his cardio. Just by example, just to tell you some of the things that I know they're working on over there. And Freddie Roach has a very good understanding of boxing for MMA, which is not a compliment you can give to a lot of boxing coaches. But Freddie Roach, through working with George St. Pierre, by example... Brennan Shaw, by example. And Freddie's even cornered guys. I've seen Freddie at Affliction shows cornering athletes. I'm trying to recall who off the top of my head, but Freddie Roach goes back a long way in the world of boxing and in the way that that translates to mixed martial arts. It's rare. It's very rare that you get one of those top guys that's open to that. It's one of the things that Clayton Hires did on day one. On day one, he came in and realized this isn't boxing. It's another sport where boxing is used. And so that's why Clayton was able to go and work with so many MMA guys. But he does not, he does not teach it. He doesn't teach a stance. He doesn't teach how to hold your hands. He doesn't ter- teach the shoulder block, standing sideways. He doesn't teach any of that traditional stuff. He teaches boxing from an MMA stance with a knowingness that that's not the only weapon, a left hand and a right hand, that you're going to have to deal with. I bring that to you because from what I've observed from Freddie Roach, he understands that to a degree that is much higher than your average. I like that that Tony's in the spot. That's my message. I liked it. I thought, this is great. I haven't seen Tony be outboxed. That was the only part that was a little bit of a surprise. Even if you go watch the Charles Oliveira fight, it was surprising that Tony was the one taken down. That was a surprise because we don't see Tony get out wrestled or out boxed most times. Okay, great. One guy after all these years found out how to exploit one of those things, but Tony chose to go work on his boxing. He chose to do it with Freddie Roach. I am excited to see. I'm excited to see where this goes.